Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead and today we're going to make cinnamon apple loaf. Okay, what you're going to need is a third of a cup of brown sugar to which one teaspoon of cinnamon has been added and we've set that aside. You're going to need two-thirds of a cup of sugar. I use raw cane sugar, a half a cup of milk, uh, one and a half cups of flour, and I've also added two teaspoons of baking powder to our flour. One stick or a half a cup of butter, two eggs, and one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. And you're going to need some dehydrated apples. Now folks, don't panic. If you don't have dehydrated apples, just peel and dice a fresh one. Let's get started. Okay, before I get started, I just want to break up my brown sugar and mix it with my cinnamon so that it sprinkles nicely because this is a layer, kind of a layered loaf. We're going to be putting a center layer of sugar and cinnamon and apples in and then a top layer as well. Okay, let's get started with our butter, of course. Get that creaming with our sugar. And while we're waiting for that to cream, I'm just going to put our teaspoon and a half of vanilla right into our milk. Let's add our eggs. And we are now going to alternate our flour and bacon powder mixture with our milk and vanilla mixture. Just like you would any other cake. And there is our wonderful basic cake batter. Now, what we're going to do, now if you're going to use dehydrated apples, just use a half a cup. Um, like I said, if you're going to use fresh, then use one apple. First, we're going to take half our batter and drop it into the pan. Now, I know they say on cribs this is where the magic happens and they're talking about bedrooms, but just take a drop of that a couple of times, make sure there's no air bubbles. This is where the magic happens with this. We're going to take half of our apple bits and we are just going to sprinkle them in there. Then we're going to take half of our sugar cinnamon mixture and we're just going to sprinkle that on there. Oh, and by the way, your oven should be preheating 350 degrees. That, oops, and then we're just going to tamp that down. And we're going to take the rest of our batter and just kind of dollop it in on top. Now I'm just going to take the fork here and I'm just going to kind of very gently spread this batter. We don't want to kind of over be overzealous with it because of the center layer. We kind of want that center layer to look like a center layer. We're going to take some more apples. Don't go crazy with the apples are dehydrated for the simple reason it is they're going to soak up a lot of the moisture of your cake. And for that reason, I'll show you in a minute, I'm going to add some extra butter. So if you're doing this with dehydrated apples, you're going to want an extra tablespoon of butter. Let's get the rest of this sugar and cinnamon on top. Oh, Papa's going to love this. Then we're just going to take about a tablespoon of butter and drop some bits on top. Okay, very gently tamp it down. And this is going in to a 350 degree oven for about 40 minutes. All right, we'll see you when this comes out of the oven. Oh my, my, would you look at that? Papa, can you smell it? Mm-mm. We'll be back later when he tries it. Mmm, doesn't that look good? Let's let's see. Let's get Papa to put some butter on that. You want to put some butter on that? There you go. You don't have to look at the face. At the good. Mmm, let's get Papa to try some. Very good. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, yeah, cinnamon apple loaf. <laughs> 